have to try and do this. Yes or no? Hey guys, Tasha, aka Jolly Frog, and I think it's crashed. Would you know what to do? Yes or no? So we have managed to get back onto Lifesaver. As you can see in the last two videos, I did Jake's story and I did Rebecca's story. Now, let me add, these are just instructional videos. But again, if you want to take up a life, a life saving, if you want to do a first aid course, if you want to learn how to do resus, if you want to learn how to do CPR, it would be best to look for a class, look for somewhere to get onto a first aid course where you can learn all of this. Again, I am not here to teach you how to do this. I am here just to show you the videos, show you techniques, show you what can be done in each of these situations. Now, I have done the first two. We're gonna move on to Peter. I have not done this one before, so I genuinely don't know what to expect of this. So, off she pops. And immediately, but wouldn't you, surely you, I don't know, you'd glance back at your partner maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe you don't. Okay. You know what to do now, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh yeah, always try to help. Check for danger. Excuse me, are you okay? Okay, try to get a response. This may be pretty straightforward. It may not be. Hello, can you hear me? It's a lot of the same stuff that you'll Hello, actually you okay? see in the first story in Jake's story. He is not responding. Okay, turn him on his back. Hello, are you okay? Hey, could you give me a hand, please? Okay, so let's open up his airway, make sure he can breathe. Okay, and always we'll look, listen and feel. Because the thing about looking, listening and feeling you can feel it on your cheek, you can hear the breath, and yeah, he is. And you can actually see his right, chest That's raising right. up and down. You found out that he's breathing, so now you need to put him on his side so that he can't choke. Into what's called the recovery position. Okay, so this is different. There are quite a lot of steps to it, but basically it's pretty simple. It is very simple. It is very, very simple. Is there anything we can do to No, help? just give me a second. Okay. It looks like this is just I'm gonna put him into the recovery position. a straightforward recover. Well, I want to say straightforward. It's never quite straightforward, but he's breathing. So just get him into a position where he can keep breathing properly. And if he does vomit, he won't choke. A lot of people sleep like this. You'll be surprised how many people sleep in a way that's quite similar to this. So it's kind of the natural way that someone can lay. You just tilt the head back a little bit so his airway is still open. Oh my gosh, he's stopped breathing. Peter has stopped breathing. Oh, he's He could stopped. be dead in minutes unless you do the right thing. Right, he's stopped breathing now. Okay, call for an ambulance. You need to call an ambulance, tell them that I'm going to start CPR. You need to get a defibrillator or an AED. There'll be one at the station. Sure. Dude and knows what he's looking for. Okay, CPR. And it would be nice to get all these uh, extra things, but you need to get into it. Newton Road and Graham Street. Peter's mouth is bleeding, so Joe doesn't want to do mouth to mouth. Is that mm. okay? Do you have to do mouth to mouth when you do CPR? Preferably. Preferably, nah. Okay, it's wrong. No, yeah. 
that's not correct. Okay, so it's preferably... It's better to do CPR with mouth-to-mouth -mouth if you can. Yeah, exactly. But if you can't do mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, or you don't want to, then just do chest compressions. So let's try that choice again. That's quite, it's quite a nice that's little right. change, the fact that CPR he's CPR with mouth-to-mouth -mouth is best. It's but if preferable. you can't do that, or you don't want to, hands-only CPR is much better than doing nothing. Exactly. Okay, same place, just up. And you want... No, straight arms. I, for a second, I had to think about that one. I should know, but I had to think about it. N like, luckily, Correct. never you had to do it. You put the heel of your hand in the centre of his chest with the other hand on top. But how do you push? Okay, so five to six centimetres, two times a second. And... Okay, it's time for your final challenge in Lifesaver. In the UK, the benchmark time for an ambulance to arrive is up to eight minutes. Okay. To show you how long that can feel, we're going to do hands-only CPR for just two minutes. What, for proper To do this, keep pressing Q and P on your keyboard two times a second like you did before. So what, Ready? we're actually going to go for the whole two... Yeah, uh, we've, we've got um, an unconscious guy, he's uh, he's not breathing, and we've started CPR on him. Oh my god, this is actually yeah, um, going to be... Look, look, we're in the lower face of the level. For a whole two, two minutes. Like yeah. Okay, thank you. Peter, what's happened? I've just called an ambulance, they're on the way. Oh, Peter, darling! Peter, Peter, it's not... What's happening? Peter, is Dawn okay? Is he okay? What, what are you doing? Okay, this is quite hard. Like, and this is on a mouse and a keyboard. Okay, because Maya and Ella are home when they need their daddy, don't they? They need their daddy. This is, I'm, I'm really concentrating. Come back, come back. The Maya and Ellen need you, they need you. you oh have to. my God, can oh, you Maya, imagine you having a partner there that's so distressed, you've got to keep going. And listening to her is actually, and I'm not there obviously doing it, and it is really distressing. And I'm just on the other side of a computer monitor doing this. Oh my goodness. And you have to do that possibly for almost eight minutes if hopefully they'll come sooner, but I don't think I can carry on much longer. Can you do it? Yeah, 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 I can. Three, yep. two, yep. one. Jeez Louise, that's actually really quite hard. Can you imagine if you're doing that, touch wood, you never have to, but for eight minutes, potentially. Oh, and someone who's distressed and you can't stop to, to reassure them, you know. Oh, thank goodness, the paramedic is here. Excuse me, please. Yep, you're doing a fantastic job. Okay, I'm going to take over in three. Ready? One, two, three. I have to say that on my keychain I have, I can't remember the exact term for it, but I have something in the situation that, heaven forbid, if I ever have to do that and I have to do CPR, I've got one of those little, it's really tiny, I have to leave a picture of it, little tiny thing that attaches to your keychain and it's in a green little bag, you just take it out and you can put it over the person's mouth. So if you are worried about doing mouth to mouth, there are little things that you can carry around that so that you can still do mouth to mouth. Okay, so I got the one answer wrong that said about doing mouth to mouth. Yeah, it's it's preferable if you can and if you're worried then then do the compressions. But yeah, wow, that was a different that was a, a different spin on the story. So he collapsed, he was breathing. So you put him into the recovery position, then he stops breathing and then you have to do CPR. We never got to the defib, but we did that in Jake's story. Don't think the score was too bad. This was a, a particularly short video, but 
Again, this is just to give you scenarios, give you an idea of what can be done. Anyway, we'll move on to, let's have a look. We'll move on to Harry's story in the next video. Again, if you want to get onto a first aid course, Google first aid courses. There should be some in your local area. If not, get in touch with your local hospital. See if they can direct you where to do these classes. I'm going to leave it there. Hope you like this video. If you do, give me a like, subscribe, give me a comment. Constructive criticism would be grand. Take care, guys. Bye.